welcome back to Face PDA Nation. I'm Carl Wilkerson, and with me is the lovely and talented Dr. Patty Thomas. Hi! Today is July 28th, 2017, and it's a special girl's 60th birthday! Can you believe that? I am 60 years old today. <sighs> out of how many? Out of how many? <laughs> well, soon to be out of 61. With an asterisk? Yes. Of course. Oh, baseball humor. You've been doing baseball humor all day today. What else is there? <laughs> so... Patty used to be uh, a sociology graduate student, and she did a lot of reading and writing and sweating over gerontology, which is part of sociology, in case you didn't know. Today we're going to talk about aging and the aging process. Especially aging and disability. I'll start with the observation that disability eventually comes to everyone, and that's, I think, an intriguing observation, one that most people don't get until they are themselves disabled. This is true. If you live long enough, you will be uh, most likely experiencing at least a temporary disability at some point in your life. The cool thing about my life right now, and the reason that I've been thinking about disability in relationship to this, is that because 60 is a milestone birthday, and, um, of course, it's a milestone just because of the way our culture treats tens, not because it's any particularly important birthday. Yes, not every, uh, not every social group has ten fingers and ten toes. Well, they probably do, but... <laughs> but anyway, um, the, uh, my 40th birthday ha was right after I got ill for the first time. So I was very, very sick on my 40th birthday was sort of the lost year. So my 40th birthday was uh, extremely disabled and uh, having a hard time. My 50th birthday was a little bit better. I mean, we had a diagnosis by then and so forth. But I pretty much was right on schedule gerontologically with all the things that happened to you when you turned 50 that year. So I ended up with uh, uh, all kinds of fun stuff that I had to deal with. So, but... Here we are at the 60th birthday, and I'm actually feeling better and am more physically capable than I was on my 50th or my 40th birthday, which brings up the idea that aging is not really as linear as we would like for it to be, especially when you interact it with disability. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of times when people talk about aging, they talk about it like, um, you know, it's some sort of progression slowly going to that point where you don't exist anymore, when in truth it's sort of up and down and kind of chaotic and good day, bad day, and so forth. You want to add to that? Any words of wisdom? Please. Um, I would say that although decline is inevitable past a point, you can date it from your 30th birthday or your 25th or 21st as you like. Um, at the same time, there's a confounding factor called illness and I don't think the two are properly separated and recognized as um, different factors. And in fact, they get confounded by doctors as your experience was when you started having chronic condition. You want to tell us what the doctor told you after a year of tests? Uh, <clears throat> when I first got fibromyalgia, they ran a whole bunch of interesting tests on me. They didn't know it was fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia, pardon. And it's, an ex it's a diagnosis of exclusion to wit, they test you for everything else under the sun before they finally run the, uh, the fibro test on you. They want to make sure they're not leaving anything out. Uh, I had a doctor who tested me for a bunch of obvious illnesses and eventually just shrugged his shoulders and said, it's because you're getting old. I was 43. Yeah, 43 is not, you're not getting old. So that's the doctor's go-to problem, right? Uh, if you're having trouble, it must be because you're getting old. So I guess the bottom line is um, you can, you know, take each day one day at a time. That life course doesn't have to be a preset kind of thing. And um, even chronic illness has good days. And even, um, even when you have a milestone birthday that seems... Uh, not that great, like I've had the last two times, there's always a chance of improvement later. And I've decided that the age of, uh, of uh, no return is 100. 
I figure my health will decline when I turn 100. Oh, and that leaves me with one last thought. My goal is to live to at least 104 years old because on July 28th, 2051, when I will be 104 years old, Haley's Comet is coming back. I knew it. And I knew when you said 104 years old, I said Haley's Comet. Yes. I didn't even bother doing a math. And therefore, I want to live to see Haley's Comet again. So I plan to live to at least 104 years old. And I plan to live until the next full moon, at least. Oh, after, shut up! After, the, after that, I, can, uh, I, I can't say it. <laughs> yeah, I, I will get in trouble. Yes, he will. Pardon me, I will remain in trouble. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patty. Happy birthday. Like falling backwards, as you guys are singing, I'm like. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the cruise of Patty's Cake. La 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 la. <laughs> this is just like Wheel of Fortune. Where the cake stops, no one knows. <laughs> Make a wish, everybody. Oh, us kissing is on there too. Look at that. Aww. Aww. Uh, I really think she's up close. Well, Happy birthday, Patty. Thank you. This thing and we're to this where we were. Yes. Yes. This and yours can be more. <laughs> All you have to do is live, live 60 years. <laughs> What's behind door number two? Ready? Be sure to subscribe. Like and subscribe. Thumbs up. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Aww. Aww.